Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Today we have something really special. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this because I have pulled this out of storage just for y'all. That's right. We're going to be applying a light tail kit to the Lego Death Star. Now, I built this Death Star years ago, and it's been in and out of storage and on shelves uh, a lot. <clears throat> and uh, it, it's going to be pretty dusty. I, I did take some compressed air, and I gave uh, some of the flat surfaces a nice wipe. But if you see some dust bunnies, I apologize. This thing's been around for a long time. But uh, we have our parts, we have our lights. Let's get to it. Okay, this light tailing kit actually comes with six different packs of lights. There are that many lights. So we're gonna be starting with pack number one here and uh, we'll go through them in order. All right, to begin the process, we're gonna start with a little disassembly. Take this cap off and take the first uh, four, four levels of this off, right there. Notice this is the room with the conference room table. And you're also gonna need to take this pillar out in its entirety. Uh, that is not in its entirety. You can see it's missing the base, so I'm gonna have to get the base out of there. I got big fingers, big hands. go. And so yeah, you need to take this pillar out as well. You'll also want to make sure that the elevator is all the way down uh, at the bottom. Once this is done, uh, the power cables are going to go through the elevator shaft and you're not going to be able to use the elevator anymore. So uh, I, I, I'm hoping this is going to be worth that. Um, considering this pretty much sits on a shelf for me. Don't really use the elevator all that much, so I don't much care. First step is take uh, this USB. This is the cabling from pack one. And we're just gonna thread it down the elevator shaft all the way to the bottom. Yeah, I can see it at the bottom now. I'll worry about cleaning that up in a bit. And it will split off into two different cables. One with the red and one with these lights here. This is the line that we're gonna start with. Um, be careful, these cables are very, very thin. They're easy to snap if you are not extremely careful with them. but they do like to get tangled up. So, we're gonna start with this. We're just gonna place it right here, like so. Fold it down, and now we've gotta do a little wire cleanup. Okay. And these will come in and remember always bring the cables between the studs never ever ever on top of the studs if you go between the studs there should be enough room to reapply the original legos without snapping the cables but if you get it on top of a stud no promises Okay, and this cable right here, uh, it's going to, it's very hard to see. I'm going 
got a little light here I'm going to try and show you. Whoa. It has a light. There it goes. It's going to go straight down here and right in between the two studs at the bottom so that the column we removed is going to fit in and cover up the light, the cabling. Very difficult. Get the hands in. Perfect. Oh, it was perfect. There we go. And I just dropped. First go. Then we want to take this, but off be careful with the cable there. So we'll just set this to the side. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna remove this column. its entirety just like that and take the next one of these and it's gonna go right here on the end here just like that with the follow-up one four cables coming from this light and they had to go underneath here so I went ahead and took care of that off camera it was a, a bit of a go but I've also noticed that if I plug these in and turn them on they actually help with some of the lighting issues that I've been having uh, so we're gonna continue on like this and see if that makes a difference now we still have this cable hanging loose supposed to come up and through just like so and then back down around just like the last one I don't think we're quite ready to do that just yet also tweezers very very useful when organizing these wires properly That doesn't make it mean it's easy though. Yeah. Looks like, according to the instructions, what they actually want is for this cable to come around from this side, just like so, and go through like that. Now 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and replace this to help hold things in place. Uh, I don't know that I'm quite ready. I may have to take this off again. But getting this cabling lined up is an absolute pain. And I don't want to sit here and hold it or have to do it all over again. So, fingers crossed that I am done with that. I'm going to flip this around a little bit. I'm uh, making sure that the cables on the lower end. Not getting caught and tangled. Looks. Ah. Like if we take this top piece off, there we go. And this light will go, let's see, right about here, right in the middle, I believe. pretty cool. Try and zoom in a little bit. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. Come back out again. I'm gonna put this back in here. Just like Tweezers, bring it on down. Uh, bring the camera over a little bit, see if we can uh, get a better view of this. Looks like this might be a little bit tight here, so we'll take this off again. See if we can't get a little more slack. Alright, once again I was forced to get some of this cable alignment off camera. It's really hard to get my big fat fingers up in there. But we got it done. So and it's looking pretty nice. So we'll come on back to this room and see what we can do next. Okay. For this, the cabling, again, is the biggest problem, is trying to hide the cables. So we do not want these to come out the end like I had it. So we're gonna go like this, try to hide it a little better. good news is that this actually rotates a little bit, which makes it a little bit easier to get in behind it. I'm going to take all of this cabling and bring it out to the side, just like so. 
And let's see what's next. And we're gonna come rotate it around once more to this side. We're gonna take all of this right here and take that whole thing off just like that. And we're gonna need to take the rest of this out too. Ah, there we go. Just like that. Take this piece off too. Next up, you wanna make sure you get just the right ones here. So follow the, uh, the orders here. You can kind of see the cable comes to this and then it has a little break off to this. This solo one is the one you're going to want next and it goes right here, just like so. Okay. And this is going to hang up there. And then you're going to want to take this and you're going to break off the top. Just like that. So then you're left with this. And this can actually go back in like this. <clears throat> and this cable will string through just like so. Make sure this white light piece is right in the center put this back on to hold it in place and this will come in and complete it And then you can take the little thing underneath. If you can see it there, you can just push this up in as best you can to permanently attach it. Okay, once again, the instructions are not very clear. So what I've done, because I didn't like the way it looked, is I took this cable here and I brought it up under and through the elevator shaft to come in and then go under and connect it up just like so. Again, fat fingers, a lot of stuff I'm, gonna, I'm having to do off camera here and I'm sorry about that. But uh, let's see what we are going to do next. And come over here to this section. And it looks like this light is going to go right here. So, I think, and then it tells me to take this off. Sometimes I think these instructions are just a tad of backwards. Four cables 
it through just like so. And cover it all back up again. going over a stud. Looks like the last one here is just going to go right there, just like that. And I'll just snap the whole thing off. Let's try that again. All right. Wow. All right. Well, that is one string from pack one complete. There is still a whole nother string to do. So uh, let's just get to it. And the first thing we're going to want to do is actually take this cave piece here and we're going to put it back on. Okay, these next ones are going to be a little fun. <clears throat> we're going to replace these lights next to the elevator with these. These little studs here. So. Let's start by taking off the four lights. There are two on this side and two on the other. Not sure that it really matters which ones you do first or second. As long as you start with the conference room table room first. Do both of those. All right. Now we'll take these and we'll go straight through. workshop room. Man, these things really do like getting hooked up on everything, don't they? All right. That's those, and we'll go to the other side. Look at that. We'll take these off. <clears throat> and since after the last one here, we're moving on to these, which will go on to the turbo lasers. Uh, I'm going to make sure to do the ones next to the control room first. So that we have as much slack as possible. If we can, 
without getting it all tangled up all over again. Okay, we'll bring this around right through there. And plug this puppy back in. And we're on to the turbo laser control room. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug this stuff in and then we'll try and see how we can clean up the cabling later because this is a little on the ridiculous side, honestly. But that's okay. So first we want to take these off, but you want to keep these. You want to plug it in very carefully. This scares the crap out of me, honestly, because those cables coming out, I'm just so terrified they're gonna snap. <sighs> and it's not very stable in there at all when you plug it in. I find it a little bit easier to do it this way, but it's still a very tight fit terrifies the living crap out of me. Let's see what I can do with this one. still terrifies me but I gotta admit it looks nice now let me take this off Bring this cable in and through. Like so, you know what? We're going to do these ones first. I you know, figured with fewer cables, this would be the easier of the four, but this one really does not want to go in there. Okay, now let's see how we're going to clean this up. Supposedly that is what we need to do. 
Boom. And this is just going to come straight back through to there. to come on through tweezers again lighting here is kind of bad I'll do my best to give you guys a good view but the short version is we're going to be taking these cables and looping them around through the back. And using this piece to hold them in place. Considered maybe easier just to leave them in there. And the real problem is, of course, making sure the cables come along the bottom instead of over top here so they're less visible. You can do it this way. These two pieces come off. And this cable here is going to come down the, the barrel and just right along the bottom of the gun here. with the 
tweezers and put this back in if I can. There we go. Just like that. We bring this back on. I believe we finished with the one gun. Now we got to finish with the other. Okay. Much the same way, just on the opposite side. Just gonna come in like this. Bring this up. Through. Just like so. Let's put it back in place. Cover up. middle wrap this cable here piece just like the last one Look at that, that actually made things much easier. All around. And you can still use tweezers, drop it in here, drag that cable down. Just like that, keep the cables underneath. If you can, manage it. go just like that very nice and one thing I don't like here is that cable going along the wall there um, not a lot of slack between so the guns have lost some motion with that cable in the middle there but the barrels are still able to go up and down mostly. They're still, they're, they're, it's tight. It is tight, but there's a little bit of a loss of motion there. I think I want to play with this and see if I can't get this a little more hidden. Maybe uh, have it coming along the bottom here as opposed to coming out the top the way it is showing. So, let me play with it and see what I can do. But, all in all, not too bad. If you want to take a look, <clears throat> that is pack one of six. Well, technically five. The sixth one just connects the other five, but pack one of five, we'll say. Completed. Whew. 
Okay. Well, uh, that is pack one complete. And, I mean, this is looking really, really, really nice. Uh, I had in originally intended to do this all in one video, but uh, uh, this video has taken so long to record and uh, even editing it, the, the video is just turning out to be so long, that I think I'm going to do this in a, a series instead. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll uh, come back to see the rest of the videos. If you did, uh, please subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you next time.